All right, so we're going to work on following directions. So I'm going to tell you to do something, and I want you to do exactly what I ask you to on your piece of paper. You don't have to draw it exactly like I do, but you have to, to follow those directions. All right, so when I draw something and I describe it, I want you to do the same on your piece of paper. All right, so we're going to start by making a very wiggly, squiggly shape. And it should take up almost the entire piece of paper. But I want it to have lots of ins and outs and wiggles and bumps. Okay? And it has to, it can't have any lines that cross. It has to cl be a closed shape. Okay? So, go away. All right, so that's your first step. Draw a shape that takes up almost the whole piece of paper and has lots of ins and outs and squiggles and things. All right, so I'll give you a second to finish that. <clears throat> okay, now I want you to take um, your pencil and do three more little weird shapes, all in a cluster on the outside of your big blob. Okay? So three more little blobs outside your big blob. Wonderful. The next thing I need you to do is to go inside your blob and draw me another blob. Not too big. Just another blob inside your blob. Okay, now I want you to find a place somewhere towards the center of your large shape, and you're going to put your pencil down, and I want you to squiggle it all the way to the edge. And then we're going to take our pencil, and we're going to make it look like a fork at the end here. So you're going to add a couple of other squiggles to the end of that line that all reach the outer side of your large shape. About three or four. Okay, and then the last thing that we're going to draw is um, we're going to put three kind of small letter V's all in a cluster somewhere on our shape, okay? So yours should not look just like mine. I don't want you to have your things in the same place as I do, but hopefully yours looks a little bit like this.